three days ago, while uh, the ODM leader and the former Prime Minister, Raila Molodinga, was attending the funeral of uh, the late Jackson Kibor in Wasin Gishu, Soy Kebenes in particular, uh, that uh, rowdy uh, group of people attacked the vehicles, including the chopper. Uh, CS, I remember, Chairman, that uh, the incidences we had in 2007, if we all recall, uh, started with this kind of uh, small incidences. And if we don't deal firmly, uh, CS, we will, it will skyrocket and go out of hand. So CS, my question really is to update this committee on the status of investigation and really to assure us as leaders and I think as the country that these incidences uh, should not occur again so that we do not uh, at least measures that are necessary whether measures have been taken also to ensure the security of the Honorable former Prime Minister and other leaders who uh, are engaged in the campaigns is actually guaranteed. We, we really need that assurance, CS. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Honorable Members. Um, what happened uh, in Wasingishu last week is uh, uh, unfortunate, regrettable, and um, quite frankly, from a security point of view, annoying and unnecessary, because there was no need to do that. Uh, the police are hot on the heels of the perpetrators of those acts. Investigations started immediately, it happened. Mm -hmm. It is emerging from the evidence that we have collected, um, the evidence that was collected on that night, that that was actually a premeditated act, it was planned, because the suspects who were arrested were arrested with hordes of thousands of shillings, uh, broken down in 50 shilling notes, and um, they have taken statements. Uh, clearly, the must have been some choreography behind uh, that because it's not coincidental that uh, these suspects had so much money broken in 50 shilling notes and some of them you know who are distributing this money around that uh, particular time. Investigations are going on and we are still um, exploiting forensically some of the evidence we have including phone numbers of the suspects and, and several other things that the DCI is doing that I would not like to uh, discuss in an open meeting. Um, we will go the direction investigations will point us. As I've said before, none of us, none of us, we all read the constitution, none of us above the law. I, I am not, even if I'm Minister for Security or the Inspector General, we always have to act strictly according to the law. And fortunately, we are a country that is governed by laws. However, I need to point out that these incidents are isolated. I, I don't think, first of all, and I want to say categorically, Mr. Chairman, with your kind indulgence and honorable members of uh, the committee, that I don't think this incident speaks about even the county called was in Gishu. It is a small group of a small group of people who, who, who engaged in this and uh, they, are, they are criminals. They are being dealt with as criminals. Uh, since uh, this year uh, started a uh, movement around the country, we have had about four incidents of this kind. There was an incident in Busia involving the deputy president. We have people we have arrested who are in, in court on the matter. There was a, a, an incident in, in Kondere in Kisumu, which we dispersed, uh, you know, uh, uh, around the mob of people in a meeting that uh, the deputy president addressed. Uh, and then there was the incident in Nairobi, again, which involved a conflict between groups of youth who have been uh, given money or paid or ferried to the meeting and so on. I, and then there is this incident in Wasingishu. I don't think this speaks to a trend or a pattern that is emerging in the country. So my first assurance to the committee is that we haven't picked any such information. And Mr. Chairman, you know, as we have been planning uh, for the elections and, uh, and, and so on, we, we have infrastructure across the country and we are picking up information. I don't think this speaks to any pattern that is emerging. It's, a, it's an isolated incident, uh, as it were. And nonetheless, it's an incident we will investigate uh, uh, you know, and, and, and go to uh, the furthest extent that the law will take us.